So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit and deform a polysurface rather than regenerate it as a curve, as a surface. Um, so first, you see that the object is created from three surfaces. When you join them together, you create a polysurface that is uneditable. Before joining to create the surfaces and um, create the polysurface, I'm going to rebuild the surfaces, have less subdivisions, and then copy this. So I'm going to use two commands in this tutorial, the cage and cage edit command, to show you the difference. So as you can see in the command help menu, the cage commands create a box shape um, that can be deformed with the control points. So uh, you can basically edit a polysurface or really any surface that you cage um, to the control points of the bounding box or line, rectangle, or box. I'm going to use the bounding box because it's pretty much the easiest right now and it's defaulted. So, okay. so I created a box with the cage edit tool and that can be deformed along the control points. So this is similar to the F10 command um, on your keyboard. The control points on is very similar to um, 3D Max when you cage uh, an object, or um, how Maya uses um, subdivisions and deformations um, in 3D. So it's similar issues. Just to show you, you can deform it um, as pretty bad deformation and play around. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to put it in the second surface and the second polysurface and type in cage. Because on the previous one we used the cage edit command to show you what the cage the differences are. So the cage the surface inside. Now I'm going to use the cage edit tool. And we're going to select the control object, which, again, the polysurface is created of three surfaces. We're going to use the surface itself as the control object. Now you can do that with this surface or this surface. And then, depending on the points that you set, the x point count, y point count, z point count, um, then you can morph it off of the actual curvatures of the surface. This gives you a little bit more const um, constraint and rigor to model, but it also, um, you also have the object controlled by the surface, as you can see, and its cage within it. So I suggest after you choose, after you redesign your polysurface, to copy the surface so it doesn't have any more caged um, geometry. So now it's all one. You can check. 